Can't believe this, but Kev told me I gotta cut the top a little shorter than usual. So don't give me no sh in the comments. Alright? We're gonna use the saber clipper and we're gonna use the saber trimmer and we're actually gonna use the rebel electric shaver. Let's get it. Alright, let's start this off with the number one moving with the grain, paying attention to any funny growth patterns and making sure that we stay with the grain. In this debulking step, this is phase one. our new Stylecraft Saber Trimmer. We're going to cut down to five zeros. We're taking this fade pretty high. And remember, the closer we can get this in this step, the less work that the electric shaver will have to do. So we're going to carefully make sure it's the same on both sides. Curving the guideline slightly. And if you need to check out my skin line positioning video, I think it could be of real use to show you how to put your skin lines in the right way uh, to make sure that you're successful in your blend. So let's throw a little hairspray in the front of the edge up. That way it holds it still, it keeps it hard. And we're gonna begin by using our electric shavers. I'm actually going to do a little test on Kevin here in a second. I'm gonna ask him how one feels compared to the other. But all we're trying to do is remove all that bulk and we're gonna go up to the top of that line and we're gonna flick out. You just feel like it's like one pad, there's nothing left. It's crazy, it really is. It's like, I did that so fast, there's nothing there. All right, let's do this real quick, Kevin, ready? You know what this feels like, you felt it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back to the other one that I like more before this. Before this one came out. I'm making a lot of passes and it's still not gone. <laughs> this isn't, I, the other one feels more powerful and it feels the same against my skin, but the other one's like the one pass and it's just smooth. I'm not getting anything with it over in the area that I used it. Like, there's nothing there. Yeah, and you're still getting it on the other side. Now go back to this one. Wash it. I'll go back to this one, and I'll hit right here. We have it ran over. And up to the top. I'm pretty much done. There's nothing left. Seems like more than me. It's crazy fast. This is such a huge benefit to work with the taper blade. I'm just going to put a guideline in in the open position and keep it parallel as I work my way around the whole head. Also, keep in mind with curly hair that we want to continue to brush it so that we can see where we are and make sure that we're making the line even. And as for my last trick with the taper blade, I still have it in the open position. I'm going to travel around the area of the blend going with the grain just to lay it down in the right position and begin to soften. Okay, so ready for the two click and flick. We just open the clipper two clicks. We're gonna go directly against the grain. And in this case, it means that I have to keep it on an angle, but you have to analyze the growth pattern of your client and try to keep it on that growth pattern. We're just looking to soften the weight above our open taper step. I think when you see this move here, it really illustrates how important it is to continue combing it. But once you comb it back in the direction that it grows, you can start to see some of those lines, some of those weight patterns, and you could get in there and you could eliminate them. If you can't see them, then you can't fix it. Now we'll begin working on that five zero line. We're gonna start with the clipper in the fully closed position and we're just going to flick up slightly on that line and little by little, I'll begin opening the clipper one step at a time until I go back to the open taper length.
Now, a lot of times you might get discouraged with your taper blade because it's not cutting close enough to remove that 5-0 line. That's why we're gonna return to it with a fade blade. However, the taper blade is so forgiving that it makes blending easy and it gives you some room to make mistakes. Now, let's work with the half guard, two clicks open, and we're gonna begin to soften the weight that's above the open taper step. So you might be wondering why I like the two click and flick method. Well, the answer is, if I go in with it all the way closed, sometimes we create a weight line that's difficult to remove. And if I go in with it all the way open, sometimes I'm not able to see how effective it is removing that bulk. But keep in mind, these are just guidelines. If you feel like you need to open it during a step, open it. If you feel like you need to close it during the step, go ahead and close it. So now we are gonna to return to something that can remove those harsh skin lines. We have the vapor blade. And little by little, we're gonna begin with it fully closed and we're gonna begin opening it just like we did with our taper blade. That's why it makes so much sense to work with a clipper that has a taper blade and work with a clipper that has a fade blade because this is the area of the blend that usually gives you the most trouble, the area between skin and open taper. And it requires some extra effort to get it just right. This is sort of an advanced part of the technique, but I like to call this sandwiching the blend, where we begin bringing the skin up a little bit higher and making sure that we remove all that weight and then also blending some of them dark spots towards the top. So little by little, we begin compressing the blend, bringing it together and making it look awesome. Now, once we get to this point in the blend where all the harsh skin lines are gone, most of the work is done, there is no better tool than having a taper blade. And specifically, pairing it with the Gamma Saber, it's just an awesome, awesome combination because this is a six hour runtime. It cuts with low torque, so it's very forgiving. And when you put the taper blade on there, it just makes everything easier. There are some situations when you get to this point that you might want to pick up the electric shaver. Try moving down with the grain in a few of them steps and see if that can help remove what you're looking at. Uh, but we do want to make sure that we've wiped out everything at the very bottom and that we've brought the electric shaver high enough so that our blend really pops out and you really see that contrast. Now that might mean that we need to return to a trimmer or you might have to bounce around to a clipper. Now before I get into the edge up, let's remember that I did a number one with the grain all the way through the hair. So in the very front, I'm actually going to do just an open taper and I'm going to cut that down a little bit lower. That's called the front fade and that's going to make my edge up really stand out nicely and it's going to get rid of some of that weight. Now I know the camera decided to focus on my beautiful beard. I don't blame it. But I'm going to begin in the center and I'm going to work my way out to each corner and just little by little, there's no great secret to this. It's just using the mirror, which I can't because I'm filming with a giant camera in front of me. Uh, but just little by little, really check your work before you let it fly and really try to square off them corners. I do a good amount of anchoring with like a pinky or a knuckle on the eyebrow and just continue to look at what you're doing before you let it go. Now, I wish that new pencil from Toom 45 would have got here before I did this edge up. It would have been great, but I'm going to use some of the Toom 45 shave gel. Very important that you put some type of shave gel, especially when you're filming, especially when you want to try to put something on IG. The last thing on earth you want to do is put this amount of work into a cut and wind up actually cutting somebody and then you can't even post it. So just take your time, really reduce your hand pressure and use your anchor points. I like to use my fingers to anchor uh, the tips of my finger pads. And again, keep checking the mirror and any little cleanup uh, that you leave yourself, you might have to go back in with the trimmer, not might, you will always have to go back in with the trimmer and you'll have to cut some of that overhang and that'll really make that thing stand out. Now we are about to throw some enhancements in this, again with the Tomb 45 no drip, uh, it's one of my favorite enhancements to use and it lasts a couple days, 
on his skin and he really likes it. And another thing I don't really understand why barbers don't use the shears to do this, but the shears, as you can see, can really help you square off those corners. And we're just gonna return to the top, make sure that I cut all those flyaways. And as you can see, uh, he's starting to come together. Now I'm gonna use the electric shaver, the Rebel electric shaver. It only cuts short hair, and I'm just using it to kind of glide over the top and cut any of those little flyaways that I didn't get with the clipper. Okay, so we're using the Onyx Black with the Tomb 45 no drip. I threw it inside of my spray gun, and I have the Sean Cuts hair color card the Tomb 45 logo on it, you can see it. Uh, it's just super nice to use that to get into the corners. And little by little, I kind of try to spray in the upward direction. I just love when the guns are working good. And you know, so far I've had some really good luck with this auto lock. Uh, it's like a $50 spray gun. If you guys are interested, I'll drop a link to it in Amazon, uh, but it really works well. And unfortunately I did film the beard or so I thought, but I blended out the top of his beard. We tried something a little bit different and I wanted to show it to you guys, but it turns out I wasn't recording. So anyhow, I'll just show you guys the last little bit where I just enhanced a little bit of a line that's left. We both wanted to try something a little bit different. You guys can kind of see how that turns out. Now, let me know, do you guys do enhancements or not? And do you like this style of tutorial? Uh, I'm gonna leave it from here. I appreciate you guys for watching. This is the YouTube Barber Academy, and I'm out of here. Woo, Rick Flair, baby. <laughs> give me one. Give me one, Kevin. Come on. I got no more in me. Come on. I know you just gave me a good one. Give me one. I see. You see what happened was my hair is not blonde anymore, so. <laughs> I got to grab one thing. I'll be right back. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you did it. <laughs> hey, <Jay. laughs>